Hey everyone! In this video, I animated this bird's path using an incredible hidden gem in After Effects called Motion Sketch. It's an easy way to bring natural, smooth motion to your animations without keyframing every position. Let's dive in and see how it's done. The photos used in this video are available for download from either my Telegram channel or Google Drive. You can find both links in the description below. Before diving into the tutorial, let me show you the main idea of this tool. As you see here, there are three shapes and a bird. Each shape has a number representing how long the bird will stay close to it. Here, three seconds. Here, five seconds. And here, two seconds. Now, instead of making position keyframes and trying to do it frame by frame, it's not very smooth or the best way to create several movements. Let's try both ways to give you a clear example. The normal way is frame by frame. Normally, you would add position keyframes and try to do it for all three shapes one by one, going back and forth between the keyframes. But as you can see, this takes a lot of steps and time to create the movements. Now let's try the motion sketch tool. Just choose the object, and all you need to do is click on Start Capture. But there are some points you should pay attention to. 1. Activate Show Wireframe and Background. Why is that important? because if you don't activate them, here's what will happen. Before clicking on Start Capture, go to the layer and press P to open the position keyframes. Select it and then click on Start Capture. After that, draw as you want to make the layer follow your drawing. As you can see, everything disappears, so be sure to activate both of them. 2. Capture Speed Here, you can control the speed of the capturing. Let's take an example. When I start moving the bird layer, the tool starts recording the movements and it's quite fast. Decrease the amount here to slow down the recording. Three, smoothing. This feature controls how many keyframes will be added to the layer you are moving. If the smoothing is set to a low number or zero, that means a keyframe for every movement or frame. But if the smoothing is set to a high number, that means fewer keyframes for each movement or frame. Now let's jump into the tutorial.
DC Reflect. Create stunning 2D reflections in seconds, adding depth and realism to your compositions. To download this free plugin, check the link in the description. I've already explained how to download and install this plugin along with three other free plugins 